Now, first of all, we had to decide which kind of graph to use, bar or line or dot. Since we were dealing with quantities, the number of boats available, we needed a bar graph, and here it is. Now, along here, we have a list of the different boats available, and along this line, a range of numbers. Each bar length represents a different number. So we can see at a glance that Camp Swampy has seven sailboats and ten rubber rafts. Now, when we get this back from the printer, it's important to double check to make sure that this graph and each graph has three labels. First, the title of the graph, in this case, number of boats. And two more labels to show what we're comparing, as in this graph, the kinds of boats and the numbers of each kind. Going through your information file, I noticed a line graph of the Camp Swampy profit picture for the past five years. Is that what that is? My accountant sends me one of those once a year. Huh. A line graph, you say? Well, line graphs are just the thing to show trends, highs and lows, peaks and valleys, like in business or temperatures. Anything that's an ongoing process rather than a, a one-shot deal, like Buford's best jump of the day. Now. Over here, we've got an exquisite little production number, which I think will give you a better idea of what line graphs and other kinds of graphs are all about. Huh? Watch this. Up and down like a yo-yo, a graph used by a business woman tells her how her investments are going. So she makes as much money as she can Rainfall graphs help the farmer To know when to plant his fields And in the fall another chart tells all About how much each crop yields Charts can tell conductors How popular a concert's been when attendance drops, he knows he's got a flock So he'll have to change the music, have to change the music, have to change the music scene <laughs> Well, once again, Center City is on the brink of disaster one look at this graph and you'll know why. This graph shows the average daily temperature for the last seven months. Note the steady rise in temperature month by month. In September, the average temperature hit 44 degrees Celsius. The heat wave is taking uh, its toll. Uh. You can fry an egg on the sidewalk. Plants and people uh. are wilting. Uh. But worst of all, the city water supply is drying up. What Center City <sighs> desperately needs is a series of thunderstorms to cool things off. <sighs> but surely, this is something even beyond the power of Plasticine Man. <laughs> but wait! Plasticine Man is soaring skyward. He breaks apart into a series of black thunderheads. It's working! The temperature is dropping! Uh. Plasticine Man, you've done it again. Oh, it's dark. Very good. Very lively, Cal. Thank you. Boy, Camp Swampy's really raking it in. <laughs> Look at the profits for the years one through four. They're hovering around the $100,000 mark. Yep. <laughs> and suddenly in year five, they shoot up to $200,000. Yep. Well, how do you account for that? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? Yes. You see, prior to year five, we used to spray the swamp and kill off all the mosquitoes. That in itself was a very expensive undertaking. Now, we just let the little devils breed to their heart's content. Well, how does that help business? We charge the uh, campers $5 for calamine lotion and seven fifty for insect repellent. When those babies start biting, the money just rolls in. <laughs> we really put it to them. <laughs>
<laughs> this is a circle graph showing how Richie spent one hour at Camp Swampy. Notice that the circle is divided into ten equal parts representing six minutes each. According to the graph, what activity took the longest amount of time? Swimming. How much time did Richie spend scratching? Twelve minutes. Well, I, uh, I, I, I think what we should dis discuss now is the cover page for the Camp Swampy brochure. Oh, what oh, we need right. is uh, something that catches your eye. Yeah? Now, this sketch you sent along. Ah, yes, the Camp Swampy swimming pool. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I have a small problem with the alligator sunbathing on the diving board. You have? Well, I'm just afraid it might turn some people off. Really? I thought it accented the back-to-nature aspect of Camp Swampy. I uh, think what we need for the cover is an aerial photo of the camp. Something that doesn't show a lot of detail. I like the alligators. And the rattlesnakes. The mosquito-infested swamp. Pools of quicksand. Uh, the truckloads of calamine lotion. Cases of insect. The quicksand colors. box. Uh, by the way, are you planning on uh, taking your snake? It's yours. Uh. Recap. Take one. Rainfall graphs help the farmer to know when to plant his fields. And in the fall, another chart tells all about how much each crop yields. Charts can tell conductors how popular a concert's been. When a ten dance drops, he knows he's got a flock So he'll have to change the music, have to change the music, have to change the music scene